Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler. My name is DJ and we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of the new products. Actually, it's going to be engine day here at the What's New at Yankee Dabbler. And we're going to start with, of course, my personal favorite, steam engines. And we got this beautiful Broadway limited piece here. This is the Duluth Misabi and Iron Railway Consolidation 28L. And I really love the detailing on this specific piece. Not necessarily because it's not necessarily an engine that you would, you know not mistaken oh it's 611 it's 765 it's just a standard consolidation but what i really think that's neat about it is just the coloring scheme that is in this it's not just the standard black steam engine it has this kind of like this light blue cobalt type of coloring there you see the uh you know the brass detailing for the bell and the whistle uh it's just a really cool looking piece and i uh, specifically love white walls on the steam engines i think that's great to see those going around your layout seeing those white wall tires go up and down i think that is a great plus and addition all right another uh, fun feature is the roof hatch actually opens as well so your little fireman and engineer uh guy could get the uh, proper air when needed and of course it has all the standard great features that you would expect from broadway limited and we're gonna fire her up in a second you get to see all the neat lighting and i gotta say please direct your attention to the marker lights down there because you have a kind of unique looking uh color scheme there not necessarily a standard uh, like a green or an orange uh, i'm sorry red that's usually pretty common you got a couple of different color schemes to choose from there so let me get her fired up all right as you can see i actually have red on the front but i have a yellow color onto the side and another neat thing is i actually had the number boards illuminated there which is great and this is actually a really good smoker when i first put this on the track it was really puffing good uh smoke here might need to put a little bit of smoke fluid in there but Otherwise, I think you're going to see some uh, good smoking action. All right, here's the whistle. All right, here's the bell. I love that bell. That's a great sounding bell. And all aboard. going you kind of hear the chokes are almost getting out of sync i think that's great let's turn the door backwards and listen to like the hissing of the cylinders that's great We uh, highball her, shall we? The real one does not stop as quick as that one. 
So that's a great sound the locomotive. I like all the neat features that with it. And as I said, you know, we can all have the very popular road names that we know, like the 765, the 611. But when it comes to engines that aren't necessarily well known, I think it's really cool to stock your roster with some of them. So they can actually kind of be engine specific to your uh, railroad. The actual retail price for this uh, particular locomotive sells for $469.99 from Broadway Limited. But here at Yankee Dabbler, we're selling it for $369.99. Uh, so that's a great deal for a really great looking engine. So come down to Yankee Dabbler and come check it out. All right, so now we're going to go down to Gage, and we're going to be talking about some switcher engines that we're going to see from Atlas, all right? And these are N-scale diesel locomotives that we can have on your yard, possibly shunting some cars around, or maybe even pulling that occasional freight train for a short distance. If you take a look here, I have one of my personal favorites, the Reading and Northern MP15DC from Atlas. And actually, I really like that engine because that's one that you can see uh, on the Reading and the, uh, Northern Railroad, I actually went rail fanning not too long ago, and I got to see that engine along with one of its sisters uh, pulling the train out of Port Clinton. So that is a great looking piece that you can uh, have on your layout and one that you can still see today. Then I got a couple different uh, engines here. These are the Baldwin VL 1000s and these are great looking uh, designs here. They have a really cool looking po um, paint schemes. I got the Chicago Outer Belt and then I got the Rock Island. I think the Rock Island's a really sharp looking engine. I love those yellow handrails. I think they really stick out. Now the uh, Baldwin diesel locomotives are selling for 100 at our store, and the uh, Reading and Northern is just a little bit more. That one is 106. But these are great looking locomotives. Unfortunately, they don't have sound because they weren't able to put the uh, sound system inside of there. However, they are DCC, so you can operate them on your railroad. As I said, pull some cars around, or maybe even pull that occasional uh, freight train that you need some help with. So these are great looking diesel locomotives to add to anyone's collection. All right, so if you're looking for some bigger diesel locomotives for your end scalers out there, I have you covered here with some other uh, diesel locomotives here from Atlas. If you take a look here, I have the SD60 from uh, Atlas. So this is a Canadian Pacific. That's yeah, a great looking paint scheme. You know, you got the red and the white there. I love the uh, little reflectors on the side there. That is a great little addition there. I have the CXX, and of course, this is an engine that we see go around here. So if you're looking to model uh, trains from around this area, this is probably one that you want to look for. Then I also have a variety of NC uh, 628s and 630s, and here's a Union Pacific one. And it doesn't get any better than that uh, Union Pacific colors. I love the, uh, the gray with the uh, yellow red, and this particular one even has a little green on the, uh, the cab there. So that is a great looking diesel design. The um, Union Pacific diesel sells for $150 here at the store, but the SD60s are selling for $175. The reason for the price jump is because these actually have DCC and sound. So if you're looking for the DCC and sound to have on your end scale layout, well, these are the engines that you want to go with. So just like we like to do, let's test them out. All right, so those are some great sounding and looking locomotives. Like Engineer Hall. Right. 
Anyway, we have a variety of numbers and paint schemes for you to come choose from. So check out our website, yankeedabbler.com, and see what is the best fit to go on your end scale layout. All right, so we're going to conclude our show with some brand new diesel locomotives from Ather, and we have the SD60M Triclops. No? Maybe. So these are great looking locomotives here. If you could check out, I have the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. This is actually what they call the Phase 2, or the Heritage 2, rather. Uh, and that is a older paint scheme. And then we have the newer paint scheme here, the Heritage 3. I have here just the traditional Burlington Northern. We've seen a few of these on the show before, but I really do like that green look on a diesel locomotive with the black. It just it just works. I have here the Union Pacific, and again, a great looking paint scheme for a classic railroad. I got another Canadian engine. This is the Canadian Pacific, and I think that's a really sharp looking design. And the neat feature about the Canadian Pacific is all the other uh, diesel locomotives for the exception Union Pacific have uh, ditch lights, well, in Canada, it's actually required that they have them on the front and on the rear. And as you can see, I have the ditch lights here on the rear of this engine as well. So that is uh, very authentic to the actual um, realistic model. I also have here the Norfolk Southern. And of course, you can't have a diesel fleet without having a few Norfolk Southern diesel locomotives running by. Now these particular engines all have the usual refinements that you would expect from Atlas or Atherns rather. And these diesel locomotives retail for $339.98. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $288.98. As you can see, I have a lot of great detail in there. The fans. Uh, actually, one neat thing that I really like, and I think we might see it on the Union Pacific, the best, is it actually has the roller bearings you can see that as the engine is moving those actually move with the diesel locomotive that's part of the axle just like you would see on the real thing so it's not molded in there but it's actually uh, a functional uh, part of the truck assembly so that is a really cool thing to have on your engines so I love all the detailing and the uh, subtle things that these companies are doing to make these engines look more realistic like the real thing. And I think these diesel locomotives are a great representation of that. All right, so we're going to run a couple of these engines here to show you some of the subtle differences that we have here. So let's fire them up and listen to the startup sequence. And a couple of a uh, couple of things to take a look at here. So of course you see the ditch lights lit up, but also under here you actually have um, truck lights, which might not be able to be seen that well on the video, but that is there, and that's really cool, especially if you're running some operations at night. You can see those uh, illuminations underneath the carriage there. I think that is really cool. Now the reason why I wanted to put both of these on is because as you can see the Burlington Northern. Of course I love the colors, but when I blow the horn. Nothing really happens with the ditch lights, and that's because that's what's prototypical of Burlington Northern. However, if you come over here to Norfolk Southern, I blow the horn, you can see that the ditch lights alternate, which is a great subtle little feature to add to the, uh, the diesel locomotive. So again, these companies are doing a really good job to make sure that these engines are very prototypical to the actual uh, models that are out there. Here's the bell. And let's try to run them both together, see who catches who. All aboard. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, it looks like Engineer Paul must be running that one too. All right, so all these uh, items are available on our website, yankeesabbler.com. So whatever one that you're looking for, whether it's the steamer, the N-scale diesels we took a look at, or, of course, these SD60Ms, make sure that you check it out on our website, yankeesabbler.com, and you can uh, purchase it so you can run it on your railroad today.
Well, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, what's new here at Yankee Dabbler? If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall, make sure you click that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you again here soon at Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.